Yo, what is crackalackin' everybody? Caveman Jack back for another reaction slash review, and we are back live from the studio. studio. Yo, Yo, hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Very, very, very excited uh, for this week's video, and that is because we are returning back to the incredible sound that is Radiohead. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I listened to their debut, Pablo Honey. Um, so I went all the way back to the start and I've decided to go all the way through, uh, progressing through their albums, uh, LP by LP. And uh, we are finally up to uh, The Benz. The Benz is an album that many people have told me uh, is their favorite. I know a lot of people have differing views on what, it, what is their favorite Radiohead album. I will be able to add to that conversation once I've finished going through all the projects and let them kind of sit with me for a bit. Pablo Honey was a really interesting beginning. Um, again, I got a lot of really awesome feedback and facts and information regarding Pablo Honey, how it was made, um, the kind of reception for Pablo Honey. And for me, it was a fairly just standard album. Um, it didn't do too much to sway out of the norm. Uh, but there were some songs that I really, really enjoyed off it. And I've been told that this is where Radiohead begins to find their sound a little bit uh, in the bends. And let's let's not dilly-dally any further. Let's get straight into it, guys. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back and checking out these new videos. It's awesome building this community, and I love uh, engaging with you guys. If you are new to the channel and this is your first time checking out one of my videos, welcome. I really do hope that uh, you can enjoy, uh, enjoy, um, enjoy the kind of strange journeys that I go on through different albums and LPs. And uh, yeah, if you really enjoy it, I'd love if you hit the subscribe button and, and join the community. Anyway, let's get into it. This is The Benz by Radiohead. Off the bat, already sounds a little bit more adventurous, exploring. Oh man. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is good. This is gonna be good, guys. I just know it. The piano, the beat, it's really kind of blending in really nicely. It's building this real atmospheric take here. Vocal flares always really intrigue me. Oh, I love that. I love this. It's a super like spacey kind of piano. Oh, that's great, man. Uh, great intro track. Feels like uh, it feels like you know you're setting up something really special when you hear the the way that the piano and the guitar incorporate with one another throughout that track and his haunting kind of vocal performance. And I didn't really get. The, the lyrics as much but I um, believe it's it did sound a bit dark it sounded like the, the context of the song was kind of bleak very bleak sounds like those things that hang in the wind and blow and crash against each other Mm. 
Tian Bins. I wonder what that means. Mm, I love that breakdown. I really feel the drums, it's good. Yeah, that's a great build, man. Now, firstly, my initial reaction to the song, The Bends, was it found it sounded like they'd taken a song from Pablo Honey and they refined their sound, they made it more complete, they made it more versatile, and that song ultimately became The Bends. It felt like on Pablo Honey there was very bass-level uh, songs that had room to grow or expand, and that... It didn't blow me out of the water. I won't lie. It didn't. It didn't freak me out, but it was really enjoyable. It was a really solid track. It was. It was a really nice listen. I liked how it went up and down in different kind of paces. We had that that um, the nice verse breakdown, and he's kind of like the way he dragged out some of the the end of the verses was really nice. Oh, oh, I like that Tom man. Acoustic guitar going. And two jumps in a week, but you think that's pretty clever, don't you, boy? You kill yourself for recognition, you kill yourself to never end the star. It's beautiful lyrics, guys. <laughs> it's an onslaught. That guitar is stunning, man. Beautiful song, guys. Man, beautiful song. Oh, you just messed with me, man. You messed with me. That constant guitar that's playing through this chorus right now is beautiful. Solid. That was stunning. That was high and dry. That easily so far has been my favorite track. Uh, hit me straight away. Real natural, real organic. Feels very like right here. Very personal song. Off the bat, the multiple guitars that play throughout um, in sequential with one another and overlapping each other throughout the verses, the choruses. Just stunning. Tom's vocal performance on that track is beautiful. Um, you really fall into the to the kind of long-winded high and dry in the chorus. It feels very you can ease. It's it's like a real kind of yeah. It's a warm song. So it feels really warm. Um, beautiful track. I really enjoyed high and dry. Let's continue. I'm loving this guitar. Man. It's beautiful. For a fake Chinese rubber plant And a fake plastic girl Damn. And a time full of rubber plants Oh my god To get rid of the sand Oh, that's 
synth, it's beautiful, that organy synth in the back. Oh, it's great. Fake Plastic Trees, oh, what a moving song. Um, off the bat of High and Dry, we continue with this really organic, acoustic sounding piece that just truly moved me. That pitch control was insane for one, but I like how this song doesn't feel like it does too much. It doesn't overdo it. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It's a really tight, solid build. And when you reach the crescendo or the final kind of um, chorus, it almost it almost plays itself out. It, it has its it has its peak uh, before the outro, and the outro is just this beautiful way to bring the song back down and play itself out. It's beautiful. I'm just really appreciating hearing uh, a lot more of his voice um, without the guitars overbearing it and, and taking over. Um, I'm really enjoying the freedom he's getting while also allowing the external sounds around his voice to just, to just happen. And they float around and it gives me like that kid a vibes where it feels like things are floating around you. I'm feeling that on this track uh, and a couple of these songs so fast. Wonder if we'll go back into something a little bit more heavier here. Sounds like we are. Oh, that guitar. Oh, that bass line's nice. Bones, a solid track. Um, I liked how it picked up the pace again uh, after those last two tracks. It was nice to kind of get back into some like kind of a little bit more upbeat. Yeah, again, that song didn't blow me away like the other two that just gone, but I did like how it picked up the pace. Uh, I liked the efforts that he put on that vocal kind of flair. Like he he really kind of moved throughout that song with his vocals. It was a it was a it was a journey in itself. Um, just love it. I love the the guitar on this this album it's just the acoustic the electric the bass Oh, 
That's great. That is great. That is really good. I like how you can hear that distant guitar in the background. Oh, man. Hit, man. That guitar there just gets me every time, man. Oh, this is such a track, man. This is such a track. <laughs> oh, yes. It has that electronic sound in the back. Oh, nice dream. What a dream of a song, man. Give me some Kid A vibes. Did y'all get some Kid A vibes on that song? I did. I certainly did. Nice dream. What a soothing song it um it almost sounded like towards the bridge and it started getting heavier it was like they were waking up from the dream or they were realizing it was a dream or it was turning into a nightmare i'm not quite sure the chorus i liked how simple in nature it was from a lyric perspective nice dream and it was also like just highlighting nice dream like it didn't have to say anything else because the music spoke for him you know what i mean it was like nice dream and then everything else around it was just was creating this this scene for us to to kind of fall into and almost like a dreamlike state. Mm. is about to explode. Listening to that track, I was just celebrating the guitar. And for me, I didn't really take in the vocal performance. One thing I will note, though, is on that track, they really utilize the guitar to push Tom's vocals um, and extend them. That song, for me, was just like trying to hear all the different sounds that the guitars were making, man. Four minutes of just different guitars just happening, uh, different riffs, different sounds they were making. They don't take away from each other. Each each guitar either highlights another guitar or gives itself room to breathe. And, and yeah, it just feels much more refined on this album as opposed to Pablo Honey. voice is nuts, man. I say, uh... Mm. Yeah. Mm, I like how the guitar, the guitar's utilized so nicely on this album, man. I 
Да. they can just explode and they just bring it back really kind of like surface level again it's Taking off. Getting ready to take off. Interesting track. Um, I thought it was quite a wild ride. Uh, I think that's a given. Uh, you kind of are set in this kind of more kind of serene kind of place where you're kind of just like moving through it. And then all of a sudden there's like, da 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 There are points in that song I really, I really vibed with. I was really feeling. Yeah, a lot of it came down to the guitar performance I was really connecting with. But I don't know how much I enjoyed that the the vocal effect or the vocal performance on that, that where it goes into the harder bit of that more intense bit. Um, did it feel too kind of different? Did it feel like the parts of the songs didn't transition well enough that I enjoyed? I'm not sure. Uh, I will definitely have to go back to that song and, and kind of repeat it and see if it does connect with me a bit more because I was kind of like in and out, in and out, you know what I mean? Uh, I was trying to get a read on it. Real industrial. Hmm. Take you to another place. It's probably no secret by now that off of this album so far, the ones that are really hitting me are the ones that really feel intimate. I wouldn't say slower pace, but really open um, and have a lot of room to breathe. Once again, his vocal performance on that track was stunning. The acoustic guitar, the guitar performance, I'll continue to go about this, but uh, the guitar performance on this album has been has been incredible. It's something I've really, really taken note of. I'm really enjoying this journey. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel too light. It's just this really, really satisfying blend right now that I'm loving. Try to understand what is eating. 
Last Love. Really like that track. I uh, didn't feel too over the top. Felt like a really kind of like standard track in terms of chorus, verse, chorus, verse. But in saying that, I thought uh, it was kind of moving. I thought um, it seemingly was talking about some, in some regard, a relationship of sorts, um, maybe a failing relationship. I thought the chorus was really solid. It was really um, memorable. Oh, I love that beat. A bit delayed, you know. was sulk didn't blow me away i tried to focus in a little bit more on the lyrics toxic relationship of sorts or something a relationship that he's clearly uh clearly not working for him you have this same pattern of behavior and you sulk uh i know i know you i know your habits i know what will happen? I know you've been caught out, and what you will do as an outcome. Um, but not a not, not a really tra crazy track. I don't. I didn't really connect with that song, uh, to be honest with you. Oh, I like this. It's got a sense of occasion. This guitar, you know. like these little pockets where he just kind of just sings and you can hear the kind of like uh, the vocalists all kind of go into this like little space it's nice again it's just it's a really beautifully dark line immerse your soul in love it's a it's a really nice line um, i like that that was the outro it played itself out there with that line it was yeah really nice um yeah the synths really uh, really really subtle um but how they were utilized on that track was it really added another depth to that uh performance by tom that was the last song. I really got to start looking at what the last tracks are before I kind of like just finish them. You guys weren't kidding. It, it definitely feels more refined as opposed to Pablo Honey. A couple of big things that really hit me on this album were uh, guitars. Guitars, guitars, guitars. The ways the guitar were used were incredible. The way they utilized the guitars on a lot of these tracks really allowed this journey uh, of an album to to add another level and add so much more depth to each of their songs. It, it, it highlighted Tom's vocals so well. Solid use of the of multiple guitars in one song. Uh, it's, it's good for me to kind of hear how it should be done. Secondly, I heard you hear a little bit of Kid A vibes. 
you hear a little bit more use of synths, you hear a little bit more use of the strings, the spacey sounds, the kind of outros that sound like as you're kind of transporting to another song. There's little highlights of that adventurous side as well. And then finally, the final thing I found on this album was I was much more attracted to the more va uh, the more intimate songs uh, and those songs being high and dry fake plastic trees nice dream um, bulletproof I wish I was uh, and street spirit not saying the other songs didn't hit me uh, per se but I really related and felt these songs um, because of the more intimate vocal performance the more stripped back sound is, is more, it's more in tune with me. I, I really, you know, I, that's, that's my, that's my favorite kind of sound. Top three tracks. I'm going to go with fake plastic trees, nice dream and bulletproof. Those were some absolute hits. Um, the next album that we're going to be listening to from Radiohead is OK Computer, which I'm very excited for because a lot of you have also commented that that is your favorite project. Radiohead continued to take me on this journey and I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. I'm so thankful that I've finally stopped and, and, and I've had some time to really appreciate them and, and actually take them in because they are an incredible band and I can already tell how they have shaped their own kind of genre and type of sound, you know, in a lot of ways. We hit 600 subs a couple of days ago. Like that for me is insane. Like it blows my mind. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to anyone who subscribed. Like far out, man. To anyone who has watched these videos, it truly, truly means a lot to me. Like I really mean that from my heart. So thank you. Anyway, guys, have a great week. This was The Benz by Radiohead. This is Caveman Jack. And this was another album reaction slash review. Take care, and I will see y'all in the next video. Cheers. It was mirror. It was mirror.